Lots of aspiring singers turn to TV shows like American Idol to get their big break. But tonight, Mike Randall profiles a Lockport man who skipped right past the competitions and is already becoming an international opera star. Growing up in Lockport, Ray Cheney always loved singing, but it wasn't until he studied voice in college that he could sing like this. <laughs> That's Ray in his European opera debut. He started hitting those high notes during a voice lesson back at SUNY Fredonia. I was a tenor at the time, and I could never reach my high notes. And so one day I just got frustrated, and I started singing in this higher register. And she said, well, you should be a countertenor. That was the moment that launched Ray's opera career. The reason we're Skyping is because he's in Frankfurt, Germany, rehearsing his next show. We open on Sunday. It's called Three Sisters. Ray's work has been getting rave reviews and winning awards. He has an agent, steady work, and a promising career. <laughs> Opera News says he has a natural electric presence and his diction is precise no matter how high he sings. That's got to be awesome to see something like that. <laughs> yeah, I was very happy with that one, I have to say. Ray Chenet's latest project is a CD of show tunes. When I was a child growing up in small town, Lockport, New York, I was totally in love with Broadway music. His CD is called Broad Ray. He's raising funds on his Indiegogo page to get it made. And, um, and that's Broad Ray, by the way, not Broadway. He'd like to get that CD finished because it would give the folks here at home a chance to catch him on tour. This is something that I can bring home for sure. The kid who loved musicals in Lockport, New York, returning as an international opera sensation. That could be some kind of homecoming. Oh, baby, won't you? For the Nile Buffalo, I'm Mike Randall.